to the sorcerer's lair. <laughs> Before I start today's Retro Bat and Pimple FX setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see, stay hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified of every setup guide that I release, which is several times a day sometimes, and it also helps out my channel too. So for a long time, I've not covered Pimble FX, and a lot of people have been asking me, so today is a very special day. I've already released Visual Pimble as well as Future Pimble for Retrobat, so check those out in my Retrobat Setup Guides playlist. So first of all, what we're going to need to do is just head over to Steam, and of course, if you don't have Steam, you do need to register. And what we're going to do once we're in Steam is just go to the search bar and just type in Pinball FX. Now there's three versions of Pinball FX, and of course, we're going to be doing the first one for this guide. So once we found that, what we need to do is actually install it to the computer. Now, you've got several different options here. You need to buy the pinball tables really in order to get the full thing. But if you want to test it out through Retrobat, you have got a table or two, which is absolutely free. So what we're going to do is go to Play Pinball FX. If I go to Play Game, and we need to install this somewhere where we can locate it easily. So in my case, it's going to be going into my Steam folder in my C drive. Now, if I wanted to change the paths of this, I can go to install and manage locations. But what I am going to do is just install it by default to my C drive. So if I hit on install and accept, wait for this one to install. Okay, so that's a pretty big file. That's around 35 to 40 gigabyte to download Pinball FX, and that roughly take me around 15 minutes to download that one. So what we need to do next then is actually know where our files are. So for any reason you might need to find them in Steam, just right click, manage, browse local files, and that's going to take you direct into where that's been installed. I thought I'd just add that one in there. So anyways, if we then go back to Retrobat, what we need to do then is go into the Retrobat directory, right click on the shortcut, open file location, down to ROMs, and from ROMs we're going to find Pinball FX. So like I say, there are several of them there, we're going to go for the first one. Okay, so once we're in the Retrobat ROMs Pinball FX folder, what we're going to do is right click new, and we're going to go to text document, and for this we need to name this to type with the table so there's two free tables within pinball fx and i'm going to use those in its sample so i'm going to type in sorcerers layer and i'm going to just take away text and replace this with table if i press enter i'm going to press yes on change file name extension and now i need to go in here so if i just right click on it again and edit in notepad Inside of this, we need to give this a number, which is the table number. So this particular table is number 33. If I go to File and Save and then just close out of this, and we've also got another free table within Pinball FX. So again, it's just a case of right-clicking New Text Document. And this one is called Wild West Rampage. And again, just take away the text, just backspace that, and name it dot .table. And again, we're going to press yes on this, and inside of this one, right click, edit in notepad. And the table number for this one is 75. So what I'm going to do in my description is leave a number for each one of the tables that's supported by Pinball FX. So that's two tables set up. Now what we're going to do is go into Retrobat. Yeah. 
Okay, so if you've done this correctly, you should see Pimple FX now. Here's my two tables, so we can try getting some artwork for this. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but if we press Start, Scraper, and Scrape Now. Okay, so Game Settings, Update Game List, and yes. So we've got no artwork for these, but if you really wanted to, you can just hold your A button down. I'm using an Xbox controller to do this. And you can always go to edit this game's metadata and rename it. And possibly you'll find artwork for your table. So it's likely pretty simple to do. But I'm just going to get you up and running with this. So what we're going to do then is actually open up one of these tables. So I'm going to go for Wild West Rampage. You can best tell a town by its saloon. Ouch, a nasty one. Good for me, bad for them. Howdy, sweetie. I'm Sheriff Evans. Welcome to Rackton Point. <laughs> I'll never get tired of this. As you can see that's booting up fine that even took us directly into the game itself so like i was saying if you don't own one of these games one of these tables then it's going to just take you into the main menu of pinball fx so what we're going to do next is go down to exit table and yes now of course in pinball fx menu which has just taken us into we'll find just here sorcerer's lair in wild west rampage or freebis uh, it looks like we also got a Williams pimple section, uh, Fish Tales here, which is possibly a free table as well. Uh, but everything else, all your really popular tables are obviously going to be uh, paid for. So anyways, let's just exit out of here. So let's check out Sorcerer's Lair. And if you're new to this system, if you just right click on your right analog stick, I'm using the Xbox controller like I say, we can get all the options here on how to control the pinball games. Welcome to the Sorcerer's Lair. And that's it for today's Retro Bat and Pinball FX setup guide. Like I say, this one's been requested for a very long time, probably about a year. So I'm going to cover the next couple of these Pinball FX systems too. So if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.